video on the Freewing F16. A lot of stuff about the weak landing gear. Um, simple fix. So here's a whole bag of them. These are three millimeter by uh, 25, I think. I have to look, 30. Whatever they were, I measured the pin. These are This is the rear landing gear right here. And this wasn't even a bad landing. This was just, um, I don't know, maybe a bump. But they bend so easy. So you uh, get these bolts here. Take the screws out. Slide this out. Take um, the set screws out. And then just tap this pin through. And then uh, I got the pin out of here. Just loosen the set screws. This one actually fell out. The other one I had to just tap out. I just put a little hex wrench on, tapped it right there. But there's the bolt. So I'll measure to cut that right there and just use my Dremel here. And I'll just cut the end of that bolt off and then uh, it fits perfectly through the hole. And with the head on it, it fits in there. doesn't cause any problems. There you go. You put it, slide it right through. And you don't worry about flat spots because the threads themselves on there when you, when you re-cinch these uh, set screws down, they crush the threads right there. And they actually lock them in there. I just um, re use the same set screws there. Set it back where it goes. Tighten it down. Ten times stronger than that aluminum. I mean, could it bend? Sure, but at that point, you probably broke a lot of other shit. So, um, I'll do the same thing for the front. Um, that's why the bolts are so long. Because the front, the bolts, the exact length of those. I want to think it's 25. Could be 30, but... Whenever you order, just measure. It's a three millimeter, and uh, the bolt head's important. Let me see uh, one second, guys. Here, the bolt head. This is the head you want, the button head, because it will slide through there and still spin when the gear is up or down. Either way, it doesn't interfere with um, anything. Works perfect. And this is the same link you'll lose for the for the for the front. Um, this is exactly the size that you need. You don't have to cut it. You just got to replace it. So here's the pin from the front landing gear. This pin that actually sits inside of here. It comes with a, um, on this end, a little, let me see if I can get my camera to zoom. I'm doing the one-handed thing here. Come on, there you go. You can see it has a little tiny, cut, a little tiny C clip that goes on there. I actually had uh, one pop off um, on a landing and then the landing gear was just falling around. So. Once again, same thing, um, these bolts I, I, I got here, actually perfect. And once again, if you can see inside there, there's the head of it. It swivels perfectly fine in there. I don't, I'm not, I don't need to grind flat spots because once again, the threads, they collapse like a flat spot. So the hardest part is getting those teensy tiny little itty bitty screws out. I ordered them, well, it's a screwdriver set I got from Amazon for like 12 bucks. That's got some little tiny micro ones. And some of them don't want to come out, um, but um, they're all out and it's all back together. Going to put it back in and hopefully no more landing gear problems.